When you sit amongst the flowers all day and you're not gardening, you know, you're not pulling weeds up or nurturing them, but you're just looking at them, you get to find out stuff about flowers, you know. And like flowers are flowers are people too, you know. It's like they've got babies and families and mothers and fathers and all that kind of stuff. And so when I go into a, a garden situation, I'm painting the flowers, I'm always painting about a family, you know, it's a story of life. So in the morning, for example, I like to start the day by getting up and heading out to the coffee shop, you know, where I meet with my friends. Several mornings a week we hang out and we study stuff together, you know, we look at and listen to what my friends have been studying or what's interesting to them. I share with them what's interesting to me. And I find that when I share about my ideas, I don't know whether anybody's listening, but I know that I'm getting a lot more ideas through the process of sharing. And then when my friends share, I find that really interesting what they're saying. And to be honest, you know, there's a sense in which that's art. Art is communication. Right now, I guess you'd call me a colorist, a painter. I use color. Color is my language. Um, it doesn't matter what, what the subject is. It could be someone's car, or it could be a flower, it could be an ocean, it could be a bird. Obviously, I prefer organic things, but it doesn't really matter that much. What matters is the color. I describe myself as a chef for the retina. I guess most of us can trace all the things we're interested in as adults back to when we were kids. And there was a subject we had at school when I was about eight or nine, it was called nature study. Now, obviously these days it's called science, but when it started getting called science, I guess I probably went off it a little bit, but when it was called nature study, it sounded really cool to me. You know, as kids, we'd go out and we'd like dig around in ponds and find little bugs and newts and snakes and frogs and I don't know, just explore the world. And the world is a fascinating, kaleidoscopic, amazing place. The way that I work involves a lot of paint. Uh, especially the way that I pour paint and transfer paint from one subject, you know, from one surface to another. And so I love working outside of my deck. I've turned my whole deck into this fabulous outdoor studio with sunlight and everything, and everything dries perfectly well and speeds up the process so I can move from stage one to stage two uh, without too much worry. But I do need to come in, obviously, to the studio inside here and finish things up. my art, what I would want for people to receive from it is like if it's on their wall and in the morning they're getting up and they're off to, off to work, it's like an invisible hand may come out of the painting and just like slap them on the back and say, have a great day, you know? It's like something that gives you energy, something that gives you life, something which says somebody else was here and they saw something, they felt something which is cool and now they're sharing it with you and you can have it as part of your day. And for me, that is what my art is all about, yeah.